Test, one, two, check, one, two. Check, test, one, two, check, one, two. How am I signing this from now? You sound good, let's roll. All right. Welcome everyone, good afternoon. My name is Danny Muth. I'm a three-year senior here in Company C and I'm the first make Company C unit commander. My role as a unit commander, um, I actively supervise all the operations in the unit. So any inspections, formations, anything of that matter, um, I kind of oversee that everyone's getting there in the correct uniform and in a timely manner. Um, way that we go about that, making sure that that um, is taken care of, I meet regularly with the key leaders to um, kind of set collective goals for that week, that term, or kind of overall the greater school year. Once we set those goals and we talk about those policies, we make sure that each and every day, each and every formation, whatever it may be, um, that we're implementing those regimental and administrative policies um, to Culver. Going along with that, each and every day, um, we make sure that our cadets are complying with all those regulations and policies, making sure that Company C can be the best unit that it can be. I'm responsible for everything the unit does and fails to do. Uh, which is great when we are very successful, but it's also um, on my shoulders when we fail. So I need to make sure that, that we are uh, accomplishing our goals as a unit. In addition to that, I work, I work alongside um, my number two, Joey Lofter, my executive officer, and Mr. Mo, day in and day out, just making sure that not only these collective goals that we set are being met, but that um, every cadet in the unit's morale is up and that we're having a good time while we're doing this. As far as Company C goes this year, um, we've been off to a great start. Kids are loving and being back, um, being with the boys. The morale is high. As far as unit accomplishments goes, so far it is early in the year, but the first, first few military banners, which is just a weekly competition that measures um, military bearing through the battalions and the overall whole um, CMA regiment. Um, we've won one regimental banner, which means we are the best unit on campus for that week. Um, we've been in the top three for the both weeks that have been recorded, and we are back-to-back -back battalion banner winners. So we are the best unit in the infantry so far, so we're hoping to keep that momentum up and keep going. And finally, just to give everyone at home an idea of how our unit's broken down, um, this is the CMA unit organization chart. So at the top, we have myself, the unit commander, and then the executive officer, Joey. Um, we kind of work hand-in-hand -hand as the top two positions of the unit. And then after that, the unit is broken down into two platoons. Um, in charge of those platoons is a platoon leader and a platoon sergeant. Um, within each platoon, um, it is then broken again down into two squads, and within each squad, two teams. So, um, and then within each team is an element or someone um, without a, an official in-unit position. Those team leaders are in charge of those elements, the squad leaders are in charge of both their team leaders, so on and so forth, all the way back up to myself. Not really in a team or a squad is the unit staff. So Joey as XO is kind of head of this unit staff and it consists of um, Kevin, the first sergeant, Sam, the operations sergeant, um, the diversity sergeant, and the unit NCO. Um, on top of those staff duties, our additional duties are the unit academic officer, the unit clerk, the unit guide on, the unit armor, the unit athletic, and the unit hall officer. Um, these, although not officially on the unit staff, are very vital duties to our um, production every day in Company C. And that is the overall organization of our unit. And to follow me up, um, I got my number two, my executive officer, uh, Joey Lofter. Um, I basically lived at this kid's house this summer. Great kid, um, better executive officer. So Joey, you've got the podium now. Thank you, Danny, for that heartfelt introduction. Yeah, I'm executive officer Lofter, a four-year senior of Company C. Predominantly in my role, I assist Danny with anything Company C, the duties and responsibilities, as well as the top four, Tolis and Ju, in the new cadet system working with them, teaching them, and showing them the Culver way. As well as that, I supervise the UDOs and Hall officers, which ensure that the cadets are doing homework and being quiet and behaved well during CQ and late hours. As well as that, I'm also responsible for cadet misconduct, which isn't my favorite part of my job. When kids mess up, I'm often responsible for holding them accountable and conducting disciplinary actions within our unit. Next up, I'd like to introduce our first sergeant, Kevin Ju. He's been doing a great job this year, really stepped to the plate. We had 20 new cadets, which was a lot more than usual, and he's been doing a great job showing them the Culver way. Kevin? Thank you, Joey, for that amazing intro. Uh, as Joey said, I'm Kevin Drew. I am a three-year junior from Chester, Missouri, and I am your first make first sergeant for this year. Uh, my, I have three primary duties as a first sergeant. First of all, I need to be responsible for any uh, actions of the NCOs within the unit. I instruct them, I help them with any uh, assistance they need. If there's anything, any issues they have, I'm the one holding responsible for that. Additionally, I connect the unit between the key leaders, uh, 
Danny and Joey to the rest of the unit. And whatever, uh, whatever aspirations they have for the unit, I'm the one translating it to everyone else. Furthermore, I send nightly notes to the unit from the regimental sergeant major that provides them information on where they need to be, when, and during those events, the next day, I'll be taking accountability to ensure everyone is on time and present. At last, I organize any inspections and results that occur throughout the week, whether they are personal inspections in the morning, general inspections during the weekend, or BRC slash DRC inspections during breakfast or lunch. Those results will come back to me, and I'll be analyzing them and sending them to the unit to find out who is a platoon, squad, or team of the week as a way to uh, find competition within the unit and improve. At last, the operations sergeant's new cadet system, uh, w whenever he needs help with that, I'll be there to assist. But of course, as a great op sergeant, he, is, he needs minimal help with that. Last but not least, I'd like to welcome Sam Tolis to talk about his role as an op sergeant. Thank you, Kevin, for that kind introduction. My name is Sam Tullis. I'm a third year junior in Company C, and I'm the unit's operations sergeant. My job as the operations sergeant is to be the primary trainer of the new cadets, which means I help teach the Culver standard and the Company C standard. I do this through maintaining the duty rosters and um, supervising the cleaning of the duties. I also conduct um, daily personal um, uniform inspections every night and in the morning. I work closely with the team leaders and the squad leaders to ensure that they are helping their new cadet brothers out and to make sure they are also enforcing and teaching the Culver Standard. On Sunday, I conduct a weekly evaluation to help give process feedback back to the new cadets so they can continue to improve and develop within the new cadet system. Next up, I'd like to introduce Xavier Herrig. He's one of the platoon leaders in Company C and he's going to talk about the Company C unit traditions. These traditions are very rich and special to Company C. They're unique and they help define us as one of the best units on campus. Thank you, Sam, for that exceedingly mellifluous introduction. Um, I'm here to talk about the Company C unit traditions. Um, one of our more prominent unit traditions is the Distinguished Company C Alumni Wall. Um, on this wall, we have uh, distinguished members who have been in Company C and who have made an impact on the world. Mr. Woodmansey, who was in the U.S. Ar who was a U.S. Army general. Mr. Culver, who was a member of the founding family. Mr. Henderson, who is part of the CEF board. Mr. Batten, who uh, f is the founder of the Weather Channel. Mr. Halbrook, who is a Hollywood actor. Mr. Suter, an NHL All-Star four times. And Mr. Lyles, a 14-year NHL player and Mr. Sullivan, U.S. Senator of Alaska. The second Company C unit tradition I would like to talk about is the New Cadet Boards book. And every Company C cadet who passes boards writes their name down in this book. A more prominent Company C unit tradition is the Jimmy Howell Sabre. This is a sabre carried by the Company C unit commander in honor of Jimmy's life. He was a pilot in the 15th Tactical Reconnaissance Squadron and killed in action on July 1st, 1953 in the Korean War. He was a Company C 1947 Culver graduate and he graduated as a second lieutenant. Company C class banners in the lounge have the last names of every cadet who has passed boards in Company C and we hang them up in there to remember them and remind the Company C cadets of the people that have come before us. A new tradition Company C has recently started as of 2019 is the squad and team of the week scarf as First Sergeant Ju re recently stated, each week the gigs will be tallied up and compared against each squad and each team, and the squad and team with the least amount of gigs will get to showcase the scarf on their door that week, and it's a drippy looking scarf that is very fun to showcase on your door. Uh, and now I'm gonna pass it on right back to Sam Tallis, who's gonna talk about the new cadet system. Right now I'd like to talk to you guys about my new cadet story and the new cadet system. Um, so back when I was a freshman, uh, I was brand new here, like everyone else. I had to go through the hardships of being a new cadet and the fulfillment of being a new cadet. What's unique about Culver is the new cadet system. It's something that uh, we all you know, have to complete, we all have to endure, and we all have to overcome. This is because through the new cadet system, we all face adversity and challenges that help you know, define and teach us these new values and virtues. Um, each week we are tested, each day we are tested to achieve 
these new standards. Through adversity, we are challenged and we become better men of Culver. You know, the, these challenges occur through daily and um, nightly personal inspections of having to, to march in the hallway, having to overcome problems within roommates, having to learn to be a good leader, having to learn to be a good follower, of acting in the right manner always. All these things accumulate into helping define and form good gentlemen of Culver, which is what the new cadet system is all about. And now I'd like to introduce uh, a couple of new cadets who are um, open and willing to share some stories about their new cadet experience. These new cadets have single-handedly ad uh, faced adversity face on, and they have accepted the challenge and overcome the challenge. And uh, these stories are all unique to these individual new cadets. This is something that every per everybody at Culver experiences in their own unique and individual way. I wasn't really liking it here. I uh, thought it was a really bad decision. The first few days, it was a little tough because there was a lot you had to learn. Hours felt like days and the minutes felt like hours. It just was pretty much everlasting. I, re I really didn't like it at all. It was my idea in the first place to come to the school, but right away, like in the first week, I was like, oh God, what did I get myself into, kind of? The world was kind of spinning. Everything was going so fast. Where am I? Like, I just got off out of the car from Cleveland where I'm at home sleeping till 10 and I'm here waking up at 6.30. At that point I knew I had to like put my head down and just go to work and just get the most out of the first like week or two. It wasn't my favorite place. I Honestly I was like why am I here? Came here for lacrosse, like didn't know it was going to be this military stuff. I was like why am I doing this? I didn't come here for this so it was definitely not my favorite place at the beginning. I just felt really scared. I wanted to go back home and I didn't really like it here. The old men did a really good job of keeping us active so we don't start to miss home. I think it was like a whirlwind of emotion. Um, like first getting here, leaving your parents to kind of living in a different atmosphere than what you're used to. Oh yes, every night I was in my bed and I said, why the heck did I come here? I definitely did call my parents and I told them I don't want to be here. This is too hard. Yeah, definitely. I think it was on the, the third day. I had uh, a lot of homework that I didn't really know how to manage. And then I just wanted to go home. I wanted to give up. But then I realized that there's, if I push through this one night, I'll be fine the rest of the week. I just have to get the schedule down, make sure I'm doing my homework, and staying efficient. I just kind of pushed through, talked to my, my roommate, talked to other people in the unit, and they helped me get through. So. I'm starting to build a routine. Okay, I need to get my homework done 8 to 10, make sure that I'm brushing my teeth before 10.30, get in my room, and then like that 10.30 time is when I calm down, start going to bed, and then lights out and in bed by 11. I, now that I've been here for a month, I've started to become aware of what I need to do, when I need to do it, and how I need to get it done. Um, being able to bond with everyone, because when you first get here, you don't really know anyone, you don't know anyone in the unit. The first, like, three days weren't like a normal, they were kind of just all military. Meeting new people and like getting around campus and getting the cross started all like, like okay, like this is fun, like I want to be here. A little bit less military and more, more of a routine I'd say. Uh, I wake up, get my little, little things done military wise, go to school, go to sports, eat in between those hours and kind of just repeat the process and once I got that routine everything went by a lot faster and started to get easier. After that day you start to get in the hang of things. You start knowing what to do, what not to do. I've gotten really close with the new cadets here and the older men are really nice to me too and I'm really adjusting to it. I'm getting better habits. The military system isn't, I mean it is tough but it's, I'm learning the stuff more so it's getting easier. The people here. Um, they became my family and my brothers. The most challenging thing for me is time management. All the common knowledge we had to, we had to memorize, 
I'd say balancing the military stuff with the academics and athletics. Respecting the older men is very hard for me because I like to be a leader, but I'm getting led by others. So you have to become a follower before you become a leader. Greatest challenge is definitely the inspections, making sure everything looks good. Not seeing my old friends at my, from my old school and my family. So much military and stress and academics and varsity sailing team and stress from all these different older men and women. And then on top of that, having my roommate if we have conflict. My greatest challenge has probably been time management. Time management really gets you because if you're not doing something, if you're procrastinating, you won't get your stuff done and you'll be trying to stay up late. You can't stay up late trying to wake up early in the morning, you can't do that either. And then you gotta do your work in class, which you can't. So you really have to work on your time management when you come here. It was weird, it was weird at first. We made some rules, like I'll sweep the floor, you dust the desks. Um, if I can't do it, um, can you do it for that day? I will owe you back. The main thing, 100%, is like in the first week, which I didn't do and I would really recommend doing, is creating like a list of things uh, throughout the room and kind of throughout the environment that you guys are going to live in and split it in half and one half your roommate's going to do and one half you're going to do so there's never conflict slash arguing about different topics. Living with somebody else, the first few days were hard because we were on different schedules. He wanted to like sleep in more and so I would wake up around 6.15, 6.10 and so we had to talk about like responsibilities like hey we can't leave trash in the trash can for PI, we can't have clothes on the floor, we got to make sure everything's like up to par and so we had to talk about that. We make sure that when we're doing the duties that we have to do in our room that each of us takes a part of the room and the other one d does the other thing. Good. First couple of days we did everything together really, so I think now that we, we have that good friend relationship, it makes living with them a lot easier. Learning how you live, like, like we definitely didn't live like the same, like have the same style, have all that, so like just meeting somebody and then having to live with them is definitely tough, but like it's also good for you because then you can learn how to live with somebody else in the future, like if college you don't get to pick your roommate it'll help you adjust with them and just like fit in with a different group of people if you have to. And I'd say that first week is very beneficial to just do everything with them so you create that strong bond because now like week five we're very close as friends. So we put in rules, we put in you know what we need to do so like one time we got in, like we got a gig for the windows not being shut and now, now we made duties so I close windows I sweep floor, he does trash, he does window, uh, door window. So we have, we have things in place to help us succeed with teamwork. Right. So me and my roommate, we started off getting really along well, we got along well with each other. But as it went on, we started having a little bit of disagreements. But eventually we talk to each other, we get it all figured out and we're good now. There's infinite endings of people that can help you. The first first person you're supposed to go to is probably new cadets or team leaders, so new cadet brothers because they're going through it with you. And then your team leaders have been through that program last year. And then next level up is probably squad leaders and you are unit counselor. I have my new cadet brothers that support me. If I ask them a question, they don't know the answer to it. I can go to my team leaders, my squad leaders. So the support system here is great. It's better than probably many public schools, maybe all of them. And my counselor, he's great. I can talk to him whenever I want about any problem that I have. New cadets, especially one new cadet I know. Yeah, Fro, he always helps me out if I'm having a problem. He'd give me a suggestion and he would help me out a lot. The old men are really helpful too. Whenever I have a problem, I can just go ask them, knock on their door, ask them a question and they'll tell me to answer really fast. My counselor, Mr. Mo, is a great support. He, I can go to him whenever I need to pro have a problem or just anything. And then the old men have been great, just helping, seeing if I need help with homework, just checking in on me, making sure I'm good mentally and physically. You can go to anybody, really, honestly, and they will help you, support you, get you through your problems. We have, you know, great team leaders. I have 
color purple on that helps me out with organization, etc. The fur charger Drew comes in, helps us with our blanket if it's not folded correctly. We have many mentors that stop by our room every day to help us out. My counselor, Mr. Morales, is you know a great guy, and he's he's a good guy. Looks out for us, you know, always wanting the best for the roommates. So I'd say part of the support system is Mr. Mo, of course, and Operation Sergeant Tullis, First Sergeant Chu, and honestly, all the old men. Everyone's there for you. You don't feel alone. If you have a problem, you just ask someone, and they're, they'll help, no questions asked. So you really just have to speak up. Like uh, you, Mr. Mo, you're here to support us through whatever questions we have. Our op sergeant is always there. He's the one that takes charge and takes care of us and makes sure we go through boards as gentlemen. And uh, I mean, if we have problems in the, the classroom, we can go address it to the teacher and they're always there to help us. Everybody here is, is welcoming and, and very supportive in helping us and making sure we succeed. Um, infinite life-changing uh, like experiences. Already, since I've been here only a month or month and a week or so, I've gotten just different different experiences than what I ever would back in my hometown. When like greeting and everything, that's gonna change me for the rest of my life. Whenever I walk past somebody, I'm gonna be like, "Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, sir." Instead of just like kind of keeping my head down and just doing my thing, I'm gonna that little things like that can make people's days. And then like keeping everything clean. My room was normally clean, but this is a whole different level. Like with the beds and everything, I, I'm gonna try and keep that routine because that's a good habit to have like making your bed every day is the first success in the morning. I expect to come out as a man. I didn't have to rely on someone to help me get through tough times and that I can get through it by myself. Uh, well I want to be, become the best person I can possibly be. I want to become, I want to maximize my potential as becoming a, a good person on and off the field or in and out of the classroom. I expect to get great leadership skills. That's why I really want to get out of COVID experience. Great leadership skills. Um, making new friendships, uh, becoming more athletic, and also academics as well. Maturity, a lot of maturity. I wasn't too mature in my middle school years, nor am I mature right now. I'm, I'm developing very rapidly at here at Culver and it's really worth it. I'm starting to feel, you know, myself change. I'm starting to get on schedule. I expect to get on my Culver experience such a higher work ethic. It's crazy. Like even in the first month that I've been here, I can, I, I don't, since my parents haven't seen me, it's obviously very hard for them to see it in me. And since you have no perspective of what I was like at home, it's also hard for you to see it in me. But for me, the fact that I can see it and I see how much done for me in just a month, by the time I leave here, whenever that is, I'm, I'll be so happy that I, I went here. So it's definitely making me a better person, better student, better leader, just because a lot of kids in this country aren't waking up at 6 a.m. to clean their room and make their bed. It's definitely helping me become a better person for the future when I need to, when I need to be that person, when I need to be sharp and I need to make an impression on somebody. Um, I hope to get out of my Culver experiences not looking to the guy to my left or right for help, just being able to do it on my own because within the couple weeks being here, I've gotten packages from the post office and like one didn't come in. I can't call my mom to go call like Amazon for me. I have to do it myself. So it really teaches you to be by yourself and like really understand what you have to do in the real world once you get out of high school and onto college and then starting your life. So. I would say to myself, build good habits before I come here, as in just make, keeping my room clean so when I come here, I can make sure I have my room clean. I have a good habit of doing it already. I just say work hard, respect everyone, and you'll get that same respect back from everyone else. Pay attention. Listen to what you're being told to do. Do what you're being told to do. As long as you have, you have to become a good follower before you can become a good leader trust the process really because it gets easier as it gets easier as the, the years go on and it flies by like I haven't the first five weeks here it's been five weeks and it feels like it's been two. Um, you're not going to feel comfortable right off the bat it's new things to learn new things to adjust to um, but take your time with everything yes there's going to be some up and downs along the road but those downs are going to make you 
more stronger in the future. And, and like here, everybody in the unit has a leadership position. Like a new cadet, you gotta lead the other new cadets. So just, I tell myself, being a leader is gonna help you in the future. Because if you're not a leader, then you're just a follower and that's not gonna help you. And uh, finally, uh, just to wrap it all up, thank you so much for your time and attention today. Um, I can speak for myself as well as every other cadet in the unit. Uh, we're really excited to be back and working together, uh, living in the barracks together. We're having a good time. Um, we just want to thank you guys for sending us here. We know it's tough, especially with no visitors on campus, uh, to be away from your sons for this long in a time. But um, we're excited to see you guys soon, and um, thank you. I'm trying to think. That's so hard. Like, that's the hardest question ever. Oh, exactly. And I'll be like, hi, George. <laughs> okay. I'm going to have to think about that one yeah. for like a good minute. Um, can I ask him a question? Yeah. That's really cool. Um, well, first off, uh, how's the family? Everything doing good? Uh, what college are you going to? Because that's very important. And are any sports involved in that? If not, I get it, you had to focus on academics, but um, you better be going to a good college. And most importantly, are you happy you chose the path you did? That's really what I want to ask you. Are you happy with what you did?